Hello everyone. I wanted to make a quick video on how I customize the template for PopSockets that Amazon provides in the resources page. So I'll show you what we do. So let's open up the actual template from Amazon. If I can find it right here. This is the Amazon template that they provide for Illustrator. There's also one for Photoshop, one for GIMP. And there's also just an image of the, I think, I believe the size of the graphic. <coughs> so here it gives you a simple instructions. Uh, save the design to this layer. Actually, we turn this on and off. If you don't turn this off, this will print on the pop socket. So make sure you turn it off. But I'm going to show you how we can just get rid of this and uh, not have to worry about that anymore. So what I like to do is the following. Um, once you read the instructions, you don't need any anymore. So what I'll do is I'll just delete the instructions and then play with this a little bit. So the image that they provide is for your safe and your trim zones, your bleed areas, and all the things that you need to keep in mind when you're designing. It also has some handy guides, but I want to show you how to get rid of these guides and get rid of this image and still have your safe zones uh, visible. So what I like to do is the following. So get your ellipse tool, which also makes circles. You go to the center, uh, click Shift and Alt, and you drag out a circle the size of the first uh, safe zone. That creates a stroke of the circle. Then what you do is you right click and to make a guide out of that. So now that ellipse is no longer a shape but it is a guide. We can hide this for a moment, do the same thing with the outside circle. Shift, Alt and drag till we get to the outside one. Same thing, make guides. Now we have these two ellipse guides. Now these, all these other guides are these here. So what I'll do is actually just delete them. User selection uh, tool, which is V. Hover over them, or you can just come here to the guides and hit delete, delete, and get rid of all the guides that, that Amazon provides. You can also rename these ellipses just so you know what they are column guides and we'll rename that double click to rename so now we got two guides and if we hide the original image which which has the guides built in if you hide them you still have your guides here and these will not print so you can leave them there put your design in you don't have to be going back and forth between this image to see where your safe zones are so once I'm done with that, I just get rid of that. So now I have my square, my safe zone, my uh, whatever they call it, bleed zone, or the other, the other safety area, or the cut area. And what you can also do now is let's create another, let's create another layer. We'll call that, let's call it background. Did I spell it right? Background. Now here, we can lock the guides, but in the background, we can just create a shape of 485 pixels. I'm assuming, yes. So we can click, we can drag it into, we can drag it into place if it lets me and then here we can change the color so let's call it uh, let's call it red so now we have a red background we have our guides that even though we can see them they will not print so they're always visible to us now what we can do is add our image you can go file place I have a pixabay image here which is I believe it's this one 
if you click and drag it'll kind of make it the same size or a size that'll fit whatever selection area you you want um, let's check out of here so you can use the arrows to move it around or your mouse so once you have what you want let's reposition the the background layer I think I moved it so we select that and yeah your background you can lock it while you're playing with your other images but here's your design now if you want to change the background uh, that's all you do is highlight it go here pick another color once my layers are locked pick another color and now you have a different color background and that's about it so that's what I do just to get rid of all the other guides all the other instructions all the other stuff that's included in the file from here you can go export as and save it here what I like to do is I'll go export for screens it gives me a little more options I can rename the the image here I can give it a prefix so let's say these are all going to be I don't know chicken chicken files and this would be uh, number one you make sure you can you can make that image since it's a vector file you can make that image any size you want so here you can specify 485 pixels as a width here you pick the folder and uh, you export if we go back to our desktop we should have chicken number one right here and since we still have that open we can go back and let's uh, let's change the background make it red we can hit file export export for screens we can call it now let's call it chicken let's call it chicken red or whatever you want you pick the folder since you already have the it'll use the last folder you selected it's going to export to our desktop if we go back out to our desktop here is chicken background red and these if you right click on the properties which it won't let me do but you'll see that they are there it is 485 pixels by 485 pixels and that's the uh, proper size for pop sockets on merch so the template that Amazon provides it's great but I hate those square guides and I don't like having to go back and forth with an image to see where my save zones are so you create the circles you make guides out of them the guys will not show up in your design you can create a background for it you can change the background color um, you can add multiple images you can add text here it's tiny but text call it whatever you want and then you have uh, your pop socket same thing you can f file you can do export save as export as or export for screens and um, you have your pop socket designs you can also keep this file rename it to whatever you want and just keep let's say you want to add a separate image we'll just uh, we can hide this one create another place another linked file and you can add another file and keep this as your master pop socket file with all the other images embedded in the file so hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave your comments 
Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm starting to make some videos. I've been putting it off for a while, but hope you enjoy it.